Should yeah. maybe just drop the sound effects a couple more too in the game. Sure. He's got Tony, can you hear me? You know, but the thing you guys will notice is um, I can't hear this anything patch, right now, Tony. And this is stuff that we're going to PC state. version right away. Um, our first milestone is we actually did a lot of rebalancing on the health system, and you'll notice that like before each character might be able to take like six hits and then they're dead. Which means if someone does a like a combo and they get four hits, you're almost dead right away. Now we made it like twelve hits, so, you know, like like about 175 percent uh, health. So what happens is now you get these longer fights that are more uh, in line with the fighting game, and and you have a little bit of opportunity for back and forth. Like if somebody does an awesome combo and hits you four or five times, you just lose like a third of your bar, and you can regroup and kind of do try to do the same thing back. And if they do it again, then you're really in trouble because now you're two thirds down. You know, Phoenix Knight, that's that's exactly what we're thinking. That when you say PC needs more features before you should advertise the game is, I think when we're going to sneak sneak the updates in early access, but we're not going to push it in the media or anything. And that way, when we do a media push, it'll be like, it'll just be newsworthy. And then we can try and get a lot of people playing. Because um, you guys really want a lot of people playing. And it's stressful for us when there's not to, you know, so. Yeah, and this is this is the the new health setup, right? Yeah, that's yeah. asking. So yeah, this yeah. is with the modified time and health. We also um, some of the players are noticing the stun time seems a lot shorter, and that's basically um, we we rebalance all the characters so they all have the same get up time now with their stun on the ground. So, some some characters might be like ten frames out or something, but it's yeah. not really no before it was like double. Yeah, the new health is so fun, like. Uh, we weren't sure. We the reason we did it at first was like, you know, if somebody we were looking at like I remember when I was searching games in Dota two a long time ago and there were like nine minutes a game, right? And then nine minutes for a search time. But then you get in a game that's like forty five minutes long. So at first we were like, oh, our search times are okay if it's like two minutes on PS4, that's fine. But then the game is only like two minutes, too. So we realized it's actually about the search to play ratio. So first we were like, let's lengthen the rounds and let's give the guys more health. But then when we did it, we realized everything just became more fun. And we started looking at, uh, you know, because the gameplay was actually better because then you, you're not just like, one combo and dead. You 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 have you can kind of get in there and fight a little bit and and get dirty a little bit. Sorry. So um, you guys want to see the uh, profile, right? So Dodd Fluffy um is saying that because of the lag, the PC is really un like it's not playable when somebody has red bars and stuff like that. So. What we've done, we had that same problem on PS4 right when we first uh, started working on it. And what we did was we first that we added those lag bars so you can see connections. So if, if someone's really playing in like I don't know, some somebody's really laggy player, you you can quit the lobby or whatever. The second thing we did is um, our netcode. What we weren't anticipating a lot of red players, so we were like we support green and yellow. You know, if you have like four bars or five bars or three bars or even two bars but if you have one bar that's when you start teleporting around like crazy we didn't really think anybody would try playing with one red bar but I guess they do so what we're gonna what we do now is before we would favor them so on their side they would see themselves moving smoothly but you would see them teleporting around like crazy um, now what we do is when the, another player is lagging, you'll see them standing in place, you know, and, and then they'll kind of jump ahead, like kind of like a game like Ultima Online or something. So that way, they're they're not at an advantage when they're lagging; they're at a disadvantage. That's kind of our, our goal. But I mean, at the very least, it's going to look more stable. It's not going to be like guys fl flying around the screen and stuff like that. Corner looks like a hamster. I'm gonna flash it one more time, guys. Stare really hard. <laughs> okay, why don't you just put it on for a second? Let let them see that. <laughs> oh my god, you showed a little too much leg there. Oh, Frozak, Ultima Online. Yeah, that's uh, that's my reference for isometric combat. And the deserter heel. If this, it, so if this is the same Frozak, this is our. Our star that it, 
that did the very the first concept, yeah. the very first he invented Gordo. Roy, is that you? He also did the painting on the splash screen. Are you sure have the new map there? Yeah, let's show the map. Let's get some fights going. So, Corpor, oh yeah, energy bolt. Yep, that's him. So say hi to Froizak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should do two v twos with. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess when, when Jared comes here. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we can do it here too, right? We can do it now. Actually. Yeah. Well, let's just let them fight. So we'll show off the mines first. Marcus, each oh. character will. <laughs> each character will cost under five dollars, and we'll do a bundle where it's like, you know, thirty percent off or something with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna use, you know, in this patch actually, we have uh, we decided to do something where we give maps for free, and that way everybody can sort of get excited about the patches, and and I think it's fun for everybody. And free maps make sense because then you don't have some players that have a map and some that don't. So, and we're, uh, but our hope is to use characters as characters and skins as the way that we can fund new. Uh, new expansions to the game and make like new characters like Wolf Girl and stuff. So if you guys want to support us, you know, buying a character is like, or a skin, it's the best way to kind of inject money back into the development pool. And then, um, and if you, but if you don't, you'll still enjoy the new characters because now you'll have a w wider variety a of opponent, yeah. Yeah, opponents and teammates and stuff like that. So, oh yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. And, and it's crazy because once you have a new character, in the mix, it changes all the dynamics of battles. Like, even if you're fighting against a team and now they have one wolf girl and one Gordo, it's a totally different fight. Oh, thanks, Steiner, um, about the amazing job in the update. We have a lot of fixes too. Like, we added a we added a, a tutorial so that people can learn the basics, like how to shoot and stuff. We ran into a lot of problems with that on PS4. It's a lot of people uh, weren't comfortable like trying the game in, in, in the middle of a fight, you know? And, and um, it's weird because it wasn't a problem on Early Access. On Early Access, we never got feedback that people didn't know how to do the basics. Um, so we kind of thought it was okay. But then when we went on PS4, we just got like a ton of complaints from press and stuff that they didn't know how to play and work the tutorials. So we decided to bite the bullet and add one. Will there be five versus five? No, you know what? Because we really optimize all the art and the graphics to like run at sixty frames per second on with four versus four. <laughs> Master race. Okay, new level. Right, do you want to go for more yeah, scaling? Yeah, should carry on. Oh, I don't think you can hear me. Hey, oh, Kaylee. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go for a map? Uh, mines. Sure. So, guys, Oops. this is. <laughs> Ready? Add some Asian foreigner who uses sword. Tony, what do you think? Uh, Asian foreigner wouldn't use a sword. It'd just be karate chops and. <laughs> Flying kicks and knees. Um, Tony's been pushing hard for uh, <laughs> <laughs> an Asian character. As long as as long as you do it, <laughs> I want to do the voice, but I can't do it on the stream. You know, um, uh, so can oh, yeah, is asking can opener <laughs> is asking when we can get expect an update on PC. So we're we're already we're now working on PC. We're adding leaderboards and um, chat, 
and uh, basically making sure things still work on PC after all this crazy stuff that we've had to add to the game. Um, so we're just doing a little stabilization. I think that should be... It really depends on how stable it is um, right now. Yeah, but we think that we should be able to kick out something next month. And that will... It'll, but again, we're not going to hype that version. It's just going to be like... We're gonna actually like lay low with it, so you guys will play it and give us feedback on it. But we're not gonna we're not gonna try and get the media to like take a look at it or anything. And that way, you know, when they look at the full PC launch, it'll it'll we'll have some surprises in there for them. Yeah, Tony did the lighting on this level. Yeah, that's fine. yeah this level is really cool. So this level is crazy because you'll see there's long narrow corridors, and so if you're running away, it totally is a different dynamic running away in a narrow corridor. And, then, and now he's totally blocked that. Yeah, he's totally blocked him in there. But Killer's knife can really throw. Like, there's nowhere to go, right? So it's down the hallway. And then, even though there's narrow corridors, you, you can take the fight up, up to the top where there's more opening and there's an interior and stuff like that. You know the maps, they are both our best looking maps um, because we just got better at, we just got better. Yeah, like, we know the system better and the engine better. You know the, we can yeah. push it a lot more. I think that's the thing with this game is even if people, like, it's going to keep getting better and better over time. As long as the community is behind us and supports us, then we can keep working on it and we can keep adding new and new stuff. And uh, yeah, it's going to be like, we're really hoping that six months from now, this is gonna be a much, you know, bigger game with more outlaws and maps and modes and stuff like that. Gordo's so funny. Kaylee, your killer's getting good. What's going on here? <laughs> Concentrating. Is it Duck Dude? It's Duck Dude. <laughs> the infamous Duck Dude. <laughs> right. Give me a super combo. Oh, there you nice. go. Uh, Gordo doesn't have a shorter no. attack like the Zerger. No, that would make him pretty, pretty OPA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, um, he's got the slam, and then so if he had two melees, it'd be a little bit too crazy. The slam is really good for you can slam someone and then like gun them down and get like you know about one second of bullets into them, or you can slam and try and run away. The other thing you can do when someone gets close is you can start running and pouring flames behind them. Yeah, so we extended the round times. Uh, you just want to talk about that? Yeah, the new rounds are... Off. Um, and help. In deathmatch, it doesn't matter so much. Like, we increased it from 180 to 240. Um, but most deathmatches end by a kill, right? So what makes the deathmatches longer now is the longer health. Um, but in domination, it's really cool because... Um, we found that we were ending the round right before this immersive point, but when the round is longer, you don't you're not like stressed about time all the time. <laughs> you're you're more just focused on on what's happening in the match, and it, it it gets really immersive. It's like you just can relax and enjoy the the battle. And it, it <laughs> uh, what do you think? Turn off the lights. What do you think about the new time? No, they feel really good. They feel really fun. We were worried that it might feel um, too drawn out, like at the beginning, everybody doesn't care about their health as much. But I find, for me, as a little bit of a counterfighter, it gives me a kind of a little bit of time to feel out my opponent and, and make a new plan if it's not working. Whereas before, it was kind of like over before I had a chance to adapt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny because when I was, when I was like, the analytical part of me was like, ah, oh, it's not a good idea, but it's logical to try it. And then once we tried it, it was like fun in a lot of ways we didn't really think it would be, and it surprised us. It's an awesome throw behind Killer. You know, Steiner, so oh, Steiner's asked him about balancing. So 
what we do is we play the characters a lot um, and we try and mix it up so we make sure that I mean our measuring stick is kind of like okay well if we can still beat Gordo with our other characters then it's balanced but if our if, if we're the least experienced with Gordo so if our Gordo is always beating our our new guys or I mean our, our guys that we're good with then there's a problem because it's like we don't even know how to use them yet um, now that being said we think we balanced it like that but every time we release a new character once there's a lot of you guys playing the game you guys always find stuff that we yeah you're always way better than us. yeah you're always way better than us and you're always uh way more like we we know how we designed it so we kind of naturally have these blinders around that design and we don't try things outside of that as much and um because we but you guys don't know the design so you just try everything you can and um that helps us a lot so we're kind of expecting that in the beginning, all these characters are either going to be underpowered or overpowered, and we're just going to have to quickly put out a patch based on feedback and respond. So we'll balance them the best we can, but there's a hundred percent certainty we're going to have to put out a patch, you know, within like ten days or something to dial down something or dial up something. I think that's the same with all, all games like Dota and League of Legends and stuff. I don't think it's ever possible to ship a character and it be perfect. Like all the characters we did, we have so much like iteration and fine tuning before we kind of like we're still balancing like Kid Red and Phantom Poncho and those guys too. Gordo and Wolf won't have a DLC skin um, at, la at at their launch, but we'll put them out soon. Like uh. Uh, Jared has been making a really, really cool Gordo skin. Uh, it just wasn't, um, it just wasn't quite ready, and we really wanted to focus on like polishing the mechanics of him before, you know, instead of the skin. So, but it, we'll we'll put out some, uh, you know, really soon. I can see uh, how you have problems playing. It's totally that half second delay. Eh? Yeah, I master that one. Half yeah. Second delay. Should I just play it? <laughs> <laughs> <Driving> crazy. <laughs> Is there a limit to how many outlaws? Well, honestly, like we're pretty broke all the time, so I think that like that's going to be Everybody the limit. Dudes. So if the game does well, we can continue adding. Hey, Jerry. Dirty fries here. Hop on the couch. Banana on the ground. Oh god. Ready for some 2v2s? Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Nice shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are these our t-shirts. Are ponchos t -shirts. Uh, Haley and Tony put them together at, for the Vegas show. I think we're going to start selling them on our website pretty soon, as soon as Kaylee gets to stop testing the game every night and gets to start working on this, the store. So can Matador do one-shot combo on PS4? Um, with this new health, Matador, before she could um, pounce you and then do two slashes and you're dead, um, with the new health, that will no longer kill you. And that wasn't meant to kill you. The only combo that's meant to kill you is if she pounces you and then she can do her uh, her impale move for execution move. So this actually, the extended health is better because it makes that execution move more useful. Like it, it's more relevant because that's the only way you can kind of want to kill somebody. Come on, burn the That dude is is too powerful. Let me take him out. Gordo will show or uh, Jared will show you how to use Gordo. Burn an eight. It'll be um a slight lag. Yeah, it's like that because we're streaming. What? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Kaylee. This is Kaylee's crowning moment. So the slash isn't getting uh, the slash didn't get nerfed, but the characters got more health, so that you can't just you can. Manager has three stamina bars, so you could technically yeah, do three slashes and kill someone right away. Uh, her, her slash still does the same amount of damage, but now you won't be able to just slash someone until they're dead. You'll need to like. Slash them a couple times and then run away and regenerate your stamina. If you use execute, 
you'll okay, serious a lot, then you'll 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 feel Matador is actually tougher because then you'll be able to drop someone now instead of from a hundred health to zero, you'll be able to drop them from like one seventy five to zero. Oh, we're not talking about the bonus unlockable skin. That's going to be a surprise for you guys. But it is really cool. You guys are going to like it. Oh, man. That bonus unlockable skin, Jared and Tony actually just made it as a thank you to everybody because we were getting so stressed out when the game was getting character wipes and stuff like that because we, we thought we like tested everything and, and then... Um, we just really wanted to thank the community for being patient with us and the early access, the PC community too, for being patient with us this whole time we've been focusing, having the this war launch. So we just thought it'd be a nice gesture for everybody. Oh man, they're too smart for us, the guys. Figuring stuff out. Yeah, they're stitching really together good. multiple conversations. <laughs> we need a database of what we've said. <laughs> hey, Chris. Thanks, buddy. No problem. I'm Gordo. You can be anyone you want. Oh, yeah. The wolf? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna start doing some uh, 2v2 now here since uh, Jared's here. Yeah, alright, let's see. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pick Deserter actually. Anyways, let me see if we can adjust this to. Sorry, let's adjust this. We can't adjust it. Oh, oh always you got know what? Glare. Technical. <laughs> it's my excuse. Did you have your computer glasses? There's glare on the screen. <laughs> There's glare, my fingers hurt. Yeah, the controller doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, burn! The, the rubber's peeling off the controller. I got lag. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna join um PC's gonna get 1v1 at the launch. Um, right now, because the PC community is so small, it would be like it would be rough for you guys if we had multiple modes because then people would be split between different searches. We're actually coming up with some ways to kind of solve this stuff too, because we want to be able to add as many modes as we oh want no. without. Um, we want to be able to add as many modes as we want, which with, awesome. without the community getting fragmented. So something we're looking at, and we're gonna probably work with the early access community on this is we're actually looking at making it so you just choose if you want to play 2v2, 4v4, 1v1 and then you can like vote on what mode you want to play and then that way you're not doing separate searches and we think that that'll be more optimized but there'll be a, the downside is you can't explicitly choose what mode you want every time but then the upside is we can add a lot more modes and we can have faster searches so you know we're, we're going to hit you guys up and do some testing When baiting, if you move faster than the game can handle. You want to show off our separate model while we wait for this? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Do it. Jerry, you want to drive? He's up already. He's up. We're going to make show, show off some of our work. Let's see some details in Gordo. Let's hit that. Oh man, Kaylee, do you want to talk about six person free for all? Six person free for all. How does it look if we render? Uh, we'll take a, we'll just move them around, I think. So now. Hey, buddy. So you can see like a huge difference between this and our original renders. You know, our original characters when we were doing the game last gen? It was really worth re reworking this guy. You, Tony, did a great job here. Yeah, so for the free-for-all modes, um, we are playing with ideas of being able to uh, 
once the game, once you get into the lobby, being able to. My favorite part about Gordo is the uh, squiggly belly hairs that Jared <laughs> drew on. <laughs> the belly hairs are awesome. I don't think he's got a belly button though, does he? Maybe he's so he does so much fat over it. I think it, yeah, it's so stretch. It's well, gone. Whole thing's a belly button. Maples. You can't give him a bigger mustache. I mean, that's as big as you can get, I think. <laughs> as humany possible. Oh, there's room for more. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Actually, early in the game, I prototyped um, Gordo could knock you down and stomp you, curb stomp you with his pig leg. Oh, that's yeah, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's the uh, the spin like, where you would put post the peg oh, yeah. leg and you'd spin around in a circle. Yeah, you could pivot on the, on the peg leg. And yeah, we spin around. we pulled up a bunch of moves before we narrowed it down to the ones we wanted to keep. That was pretty cool when you put your peg leg down, you spin in circles, because he'd just like be like a, a sprinkler of bullets. No, what we're doing, um, we're we're playing on the PS4, but we're capturing through the PC. Yeah. So then Tony's able to switch between the capture software and the capture software that's hooked to the PS4 and the capture software on PC. Is that how it is? Yeah. So we can show up like the set brush and, and everything. So yeah, uh, Marcus Soul. So bug fixes. So um, deserter. Had a bug. One of the worst bugs was if you you have to sit down and, and let the medikit cook for two seconds before it works, and you could be interrupted. But if you switch weapons, he could run around, and the timer will still be going. Um, we fixed that, so deserter can't run around while healing right now, and that way, um, you know, he's at risk. And uh, another one we fixed was a brutal one. It's like a secret. It was a one that Phantom Poncho players were keeping secret up their sleeve because they could be really good. Is you could actually do two shots at once. If you charge your super shot, you could like jump in, hammer, and then regular fire. hammer right, and then it's just like boom, boom, like right away. And um, we we fixed that, so there's the proper cooldown. And deserter could do the same thing. Yep. Um, same hill. We fixed the bug where kid kid red when he got <laughs> stunned with the knife. He was taking four seconds instead of two seconds, and same with Phantom Poncho. Um, we fixed, um, Fan this is not a bug, it's balancing, but Phantom Poncho, before he can like whip over and over and over really fast, we decided it's, it's such a good ability because not only do you whip somebody, it stuns them, it wounds them, and we thought it should be a more, um, strategic ability, so we made it so that you can only do that once every five seconds, so that way when you initiate a battle, you can use it. But once it's, you can't just keep doing it over and over during a battle. So I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. When we played with uh, a lion named King, there was these teams that were phantoms were. that were in the top, in the top 10, and, and we would fight them, and it was just, what do I do? They would both just come, and it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> there was like nothing you could do. That will bring, that'll mean, the whole point with Phantom is he's not supposed to be a character you spam. He's supposed to be a, a technical character that you plan ahead a couple attacks. And so that that's will be more aligned with him. And if someone's technical, they'll still be able to do that. You know, stun, leap in, do their business and get out. But they're not going to be able to just keep spamming whip at everybody. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we fix? Um, Kid Red was invulnerable when he got stunned and he would fall down. You couldn't shoot him. We fixed that. Um, Oh yeah, um, Matador now can get um, interrupted. I bring it down more. Oh, yeah. We fixed that one, right? We're, Matador now gets interrupted if she's doing her um, execute move at somebody. You can no, you can break her charge if, if she's got her execute ready. Um, if you shoot her, and uh, what else? We're setting up two v two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a it's one v one right now. Yeah, Desert won't be able to move while he's healing, even if he switches weapons. It'll count. It'll cancel the timer, so he'll still have the heal. Um, 
you, you can just cancel your heal, so that way it's still responsive, but you just have to, uh, you know, you lose something if you cancel. Should I search on this one, Jordan? Uh, no, uh, just join my game. Or are you just sending it? Yeah. Matador, you know, if Matador feels bad, I mean, we felt like she was, like, too, too tough in the hands of really good players, and, um, we're dialing her back, but, you know, if, if we get feedback, it really depends, like, it, we have to see how you guys play. So, if she, if she, if she needs, uh, if we took it too far, we'll dial it back up, so don't worry, guys, it's just, like, we listen to you guys, and we, you know, sometimes you have to move things, and sometimes, hopefully 80% of the times, the stuff we move takes it to the right amount, sometimes it might overshoot it, we have to, you know, we go back a bit. Oh, killer! Um, what did we do with killer? <laughs> what is a uh, knife? Um, sometimes it's um, you to, like balance them yeah, for everybody. Um, uh, I think next patch we're looking at giving killer a slightly <laughs> more more range, range yeah. because we feel now killer might be he's solid, but he might be a little bit underpowered. We want to just exaggerate one of his strengths a little bit. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the quick, what's, the, what's, the, what's the quick execute? That's when he can charge. He can charge to execute while she's on the ground. Right. Oh, I made the I made the execute a little bit longer in um, charge time. Yeah. Yeah. So that that way you. You're yeah. Playing. Oh, jeez. The manager changes were subtle though. They were just basically to fix exploits, but. I mean, we really like Matador, and she's already at risk of being... For new players, she's not a good player, you know? But for good character, but for like really good players, she seems to be real... Have some stuff that you can't do anything against, so we're just trying to fix that, but... How many revolver shots to kill from Killer? Um, it depends on, uh... Depends how who, which character you are. Like if it's deserter, it's probably like I don't know, twelve. Or oh, yeah. yeah. Um, we redid uh, the health, so oh, I can't remember off the top of my head the exact numbers, but I'll give you guys throw some stuff out there. So say killer was a hundred. Killer will now be one seventy-five. You know, kid red is now one fifty. Um, Matador is about one. No, oh, Killer's one seventy. Yeah, Matador's one seventy. Right um, Deserter used to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Deserter used to be like one. Oh man, I don't even high stakes the way it's easy to. Because there, what we did is if we strengthen all of them, maybe uh, one hundred and seventy-five percent. We scaled up Deserter only one hundred and fifty percent. So that way his health. It's not like exponentially bigger than everyone. So he's he's still got more health. He's more beefy, but he's less. Like he's, he's like less like a superhero. Awesome. We also dialed down his medikit, um, the effectiveness. So it's not going to heal you fifty percent. It's going to heal you thirty five percent of your missing damage or your total damage. And we um, so that way, and we also dialed down the uh, time a little bit so that you can't just do it over and over again. So it's like a sort of bigger commitment. Um, that way, in a one versus one, you should feel like you can do one or maybe two heals tops, but you, you can't just heal between every um, encounter. We also fix the heal with um, the um, the moving, so you can't move now when you heal. You already, you already said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Do focus. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, man. Maybe doing the whip over and over. I mean, it does take skill because it does have a one second cooldown on it. But we just found that that's not really how we want the character to play. Like that's how we want like a character like Kid Red to play, where they're just like fast and aggressive. You know, with Poncho, we want him to be like sort of like in and out, in and out, and technical. And s like a bit slower paced, but then when he does stuff, it's it's heavy impact. Yeah. Oh. 
so yeah, we um Steiner, we didn't get to we didn't get to kind of pinpoint what's causing that blind um, issue, but that's sort of on our next what patch. We're gonna be working with that one. No, um, sure. Some in some cases, like the the call out should tell you exactly. The intention is the call out should tell you exactly when someone's blinded. Um, and as soon as it disappears, it means they're not blinded. There's some cases where it's mismatching, and we're we're trying to figure out what causes that. Oh, I mean, it's yeah. With yeah, with or like, um, you know, it seems like she's getting a lot of nerfs, but the fact that everyone's got more health it means her execute is is scaling up with all that. So it means her execute is going to be able to like cut through all that extra health. No one else's abilities are going to be able to do that. So she's her landing her execute now is, is going to be a really important thing with her. And with against Gordo, um, I, I saw one of the comments before saying that ground pound will um, make it hard for her to um, her moves. I, it just um, you just have to rely on the blind or Gordo has a really long um, recovery from the ground pound, and the range is really small. So if you can trick him into doing it, he's actually pretty open. It's like getting he's like stuns himself from the ground pound. So, Nolan, it, it's it's harder to do the execute move, but it's more effective. So it's like it might be like a little bit harder because you have to charge it properly, and you can't just be invulnerable while you're charged. But but before, you know, um, now she'll be able to cut through. Like if someone has you know two hundred hit points, she's gonna her execute is gonna be the only move that can cut through that. Babies. Whereas before, a lot of moves could cut through. You know, like you could just there was no reason to do it. You could just pound somebody and slash them twice and they're dead, there was no reason to execute them. But I mean, if, again, if, um, we're always going to be uh, adjusting the stuff. And there's always going to be like, uh, stuff that, you know, needs to be refined more and more and more. So, you know, you guys just let us know what you think. We're just trying it out and then uh, we'll, we'll play with the balance here. Good to go. You guys have shown the concepts? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's... Oh, you didn't show the... the what do you do? Yeah. We, we should save that for last. Yeah. Alright. Because that's, that's gold. <laughs> Um, uh, Neil Bongstrong, you guys need more advertisement? Yeah, dude, that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we agree. Drop, don't worry. So I don't know if you guys yeah, noticed, uh, already, like, with the extended time, those domination rounds last way longer. Pretty fun. So, how's this match going? How's, so you have Killer and Gordo, how do those guys work together? They're a good team, aren't they? I think it's just, like, maximizing the range with the knife and then getting the flag fire in. If Killer, if Killer is the game plan, you stun with the knife and then... Um, like order to do the business? Yeah. The business. <laughs> oh, watch out. Jeez. Gordo's you know, like, deadly as a Gordo teammate. Killer is Gordo's fire can create space for Killer too. Right? Like it actually helps Killer be tougher. Yeah. Yeah, you want to protect Killer mid-range. So Gordo's like a space defender even for, for Killer. I find Kid Red is actually, even though Kid Red has to get close to Gordo and that's a challenge, because he's so fast and he can stun, he's a good, uh, it's a good fight. Like, it's like the fast little guy, 
from short range against the big slow guy with long range. Who's kid red? Uh, no, that's Kaylee. So what he was suggesting, um, uh, nice throw. Oh, yeah. Cold Dragon TV is suggesting um, having the knife do a longer stun uh, based on how far you throw it. We think that's a great idea. We've been talking about that a lot, and I think that's one of the things on our on our to do list because it, it um, if you throw a knife from really far away, it gives you a chance to kind of get up close and do something. It's also like a nice feels like a good skill shot. Eat my knife. You know, though, for the Phantom Poncho guys who are worried about it, Tony is a uh, Tony's main is Phantom Poncho, and uh, you like the change, right? Yeah, I think what you what what you gotta learn is like use the other moves more before it's just kind of whip shoot whip shoot. Um, now I I found myself using like the hammer a lot more and the whip neck choke a lot more. And then the whip is for like catching people running away because it's fast. But then it's so you you can still like combo into people, right? You can still do the hammer regular shot whip shot. But it's just now you got to do more things for the same <laughs> damage. Right. So now you're you're using your other move to initiate, and you're saving your whip to so catch them when they run away. That's oh. smart. Just go in and cause mayhem. <laughs> just delete the map. Give me candy. Oh. oh, sorry, Goro. I'm coming. I think the best combo for me right now, when we were testing, is um, the two big guys, like the Zerd and Goro. They they make a really good team. Really? Yeah. Impale and the uh, the fire is awesome. The barbecue. Yeah, the barbecue. It's Tony's favorite move. Do you guys ever fight in the house? It's kind of like the same. Death trap. Oh. Oh my god. Did we work on the slash combo? Um, we found that the slash combo kind of resolved itself. Like now, it's just before it was a problem because if you pounce and you slash slash, it would like kill somebody. Whereas now, the best solution we just left it as is because by extending all the health, it kills you. It just it's just a good combo, and we find that now it actually has a better role. It wasn't good when the health was so short because it it was just like a way of instantly ending the match. But now that everyone has longer health. That, that combo seems like it seems like it might be acceptable, so we wanted to kind of leave it out there and see how it works now. The two slash Ashley right now equals to um, like a like a kid red uh, stun four shot kind of damage, so it's actually pretty balanced. Yeah, those um, with the HP um, change, it feels like instead of um, the one combo one shot dead, now it's like two two combo and like. Combo and a half before you can kill someone, which like there's a lot more back and forth. Oh, for a killer, we never got to the. Uh, we weren't able to get to that. That's that's still on our on our to do list, and that'll probably happen in the next the next update. Thanks, Goro. Oh, almost hit. Give the matter to the bigger boobs. <laughs> Isn't that what you were pushing for? <sighs> Me? No. That's his next character. No. Her focus is the bump. The bump? The bump. <laughs> her focus is on making her super badass. Oh, leaderboards. I think, you know there was that hacker that hacked the leaderboards and got like, the top? But the leaderboards isn't controlled by us, it's actually controlled by... 
by Sony. So I think we contacted them and let them know, and they'll uh, they'll actually remove that leaderboard entry. We don't actually have the ability to edit Sony leaderboards because if we did, we could we Make could be gods and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I mean, as far as we know. So what we're but I think they're actually taking care of that. Okay, do this. Oh my god, I This suggestion in the current points should be managed based on ranks you are playing also. New players get completely wicked if they are up against players with a lot of perk points. What does that mean? Two or seven to Um I think yeah. they're so suggesting easy to unlock the player her point should be managed. Do you mean, um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, can you, can you rephrase that? Yeah. Come here, Kaylee. I think the do shooting, or the dodging while stunned on the ground, um... I think that that might be a issue of lag, because we don't, we don't get it when we're testing, but I think it happens when I think it happens when on one machine they evade before the impact and on the other machine they're impacted before the evade. And so we just decide, well, let's, you know, let's, let's give them the evade. So it's just actually just a visual thing, but we, we'll look, take a look at it. We're going to take a look at how we can kind of visually make those things smoother. Unless you guys are talking about if you're actually stunned and you have the ability to evade, then just let us know along a bug in the forums for that and we'll fix that. We've, we've encountered those kind of bugs too and we've been trying to fix all those as we, we come along. Facing someone who has only two points available. Oh, I see. That's a good, that's an interesting idea. Um, but then you'd have to... We'd have to rework the flow quite a bit because then you'd have to like manage your perk points after. And how would that work for? Yeah, it's hard to for for us to find out which two perk points you want to put in, or for that match. We say like bring up the perk point screen after the pregame before the match starts, so you can like so you can manage them. On so you can manage them. Yeah, but that's a pretty big. Uh, that's a cool idea, and we'll we'll for sure log it, but. It's a pretty big feature, and we sort of have uh, a lot of big features on the on the wish list right now. Lion was talking about how he does that, like when he's setting up for a free for all, he'll go in and manage his perk points, and then he'll go in and change it before he goes into like a domination or something. We're also talking about potentially locking in perk points. Yeah, like uh, like the uh, locking locking them in, building the character if you want. And so, yeah, Jared's Jared's a proponent of the lion. Didn't like the lion. You don't like it? No, lion didn't. Oh, lion didn't no, like it. He was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I think that's part of the fun to customize the part of the game. Like, well, and especially because, yeah, then he, I mean, it would encourage him to have to make like his free for all character and his domination character and stuff. But I like it. I like the idea of having like this is. Yeah, this is like life. speedy red. He's my fast kid red build. Yeah. You know, this is uh I kinda like it too. You know, and I, I like the idea that you, you make characters that have the builds you like and then um sort of like makes it more meaningful. Yeah. But you know, I think nice. But the dis the there's pros and cons both ways. Like one thing nice is then people can focus a hundred percent of their efforts on one character and then yeah. Yeah, you can interrupt the healing by uh, just evading or just switching weapon. I just didn't do it because I was lazy. Characters are under five dollars, and we're gonna have a bundle where you can get a savings of like thirty percent on them. And we're gonna use those funds. We're you know we're putting the maps and and uh, that kind of stuff and yes. other expansions. Yeah. We're we're putting those all in for for free for all the users, so we use uh, characters and scripts as the way that we can like fund more expansion into the game. So if you want to support us, picking up a character skin is the best way. So we can like fund fund ex more expansion and more development of the game. Hey, go to fire! Uh, never mind. But again, we always want to stress to like, 
if, even if you don't buy a character, that's cool too because you're supporting the game by just playing it. And and I'm not gonna and, and the other thing is this barbecue. the game. You'll still we we made it so that you'll still be able to play against and with. <laughs> Um, people that use those characters, even if you don't buy them, so then the game's still gonna get more fun for you. Oh, every time somebody adds a character. You like a character. Got it. I really want to do the barbecue it's so hard. <laughs> they won't let me. You know, we would have loved to make a skins and character bundle. Yeah. Or you mean like just taking all the skins that we have? And yeah, all the, the characters? characters? Yeah. Or do you mean um, like one Gordo skin and, and one Gordo character? I think they want me like a full meal deal. Full meal deal? That'd be cool. We have two bundles for right now, right? Yeah, we actually are making a bundle where you can get all the skins together, like all the grid skins, and it's going to be at a pretty good value. Whatever. Ah. <laughs> oh. Everything bundle, okay. The, the, the super supported bundle. We should charge more for the super support bundle. <laughs> it's double. It's double. Well, <laughs> well, what the super supporter is saying is they want to give you, they want to give you more. They like to sell us something to support you. Hey Gordo, can you just let me tell you so we can barbecue you? Just for fun. All right. There you go. I got one. I got one. Yeah, good to me. Oh, uh, Neil, it'll be cheaper for you to buy even <laughs> even without the super bundle. With the new bundles, it'll be cheaper than twenty bucks to get all the skins and the uh, like two guys. Okay, we should do a raffle too, by the way. Hey, Kaylee, you should do a raffle. Okay. Yeah, Kaylee. Kaylee. What are you even doing? It is a good idea. You know what? If it was. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the um, per points. Maybe if there was a way to automatically. Oh. Like, what we want to avoid is just making it something where you have to go in and change your perk points because it's so out of the flow. Um, but it would be cool if it... It would be kind of cool if it could automatically... I mean, like, we do that in rookie mode. In rookie mode, we make it so that your perk points don't Throw take fire effect. Something. Yeah, that's just sick. Ah. Oh, burning oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Goro is, it could be done is a scary teammate. The point thing if Everything there was he does a way does damage the, to you. If the game decided which perk points to, to not use. Perk points in, in rookie mode should make an impact. But I think that there's no... Well, we, we can... If you think that there might be a bug where it's there, we can take a look at that. Oh no. Let me see what uh quick points are we affecting this. Killing. You know what I think um one thing is are per points on PC are a lot a lot stronger than the perk points on PS4. But I'm even thinking of dialing down the perk points on PS4 a little bit more because we were aiming to think like, okay, twenty percent was the threshold that we wanted. Like if somebody is maxes out their damage, they'll do 20% more. So it's not like a big deal. It goes from like, instead of um, 12 hits to kill somebody, it's it's 10 hits to kill somebody. But, and that seemed like reasonable. Like it's, you could still win, you could still win if you don't have it. But what we didn't really think about too much until now is that when you're a Deathbringer, you'll have not only your damage maxed out, but you might have your fire rate maxed out. So really the damage per second is really 40% more. And that's not really, that's a little bit too much. Like we don't want it to be a 40% difference. And yeah, like 20% is the ideal we were thinking. But if you can, if you have enough perk points to max out two sections, you could potentially have 40%, which isn't what we were going for. What's oh, sorry. Yeah, one of the things we're going to look at when we're doing 
a lot of the PC early access stuff is we're looking at actually maybe making in rank mode. Um, we're looking at changing the way that the game works and potentially making like ranked matches a little bit different where it's actually just like you're only playing for rank and then if that's the case you're um, sure. if that's the case we treat it more oh. like a tournament where you don't have any pro points in effect and it's just purely skill. Oh, so we're, yes. we're, we're, we're debating Sunday. that internally and we're trying to figure out if that's, you know, um, that's the best way to go. We gotta end this with barbecue. This match. <laughs> this is in death. Chris, I wanna barbecue you. You man. gotta end it with a Molotov when they die in the fire. That looks awesome. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we can do it. Die in the barbecue next time. Alright, so I think that's a good talk about Dallas, you know, we'll just want to get back to I, I missed this whole fight. Sudden death right now. Oh, nice. Oh, you okay, so you got Gordo Kid Red. Yeah, Gordo Kid How does the dynamite and the Molotov work together? Is it. It's pretty good. One stun, the other burn. Yeah, especially if you get the dynamite and then throw the Molotov in after. Oh, watch out. Red 35. Yeah, just go around. I'm gonna. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna drill. Oh, no. Oh, that's. Let's go for the fire. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's why I couldn't figure out what was going on. Because I was like, every time we get the counter was moving opposite to. Oh. Because the split screen was right. on different teams. When you guys get a follower, the whip sound is really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I think we don't get a lot of followers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do a raffle yet? Um, oh yeah, he said he's, raffle. He's probably oh he's he telling was, you he's, raffle. He's kid red though, so. No, I think he's announcing he's raffling. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> probably needs a minute of not fighting. Yeah, hey, guys. So, and we're gonna always show like new. So next week we're gonna be showing. The wolf here, and we're gonna show the plaza. Yeah, and uh, we'll recap. Uh, we'll do a little bit of recap on Gordo, but wolf wolf is really crazy. And then we can do some Gordo wolf girl fights next week. She's badass. I think the key to our um, character balance, we when we design these character, we have a pretty clear idea of how he's gonna play. So like we're not gonna change mechanics or whatever. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know balance it and make sure the damage and the speed and everything's proper and you know uh, no bugs that kind of thing. Like so far we since early assets we did a lot of balancing. The character feels a lot better, but we never really changed the, how the character plays. And I think that's. That's important to keep all the characters unique and not everybody's kind of like watered down version of each other, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have a clear idea of like what flavor each character is, and then it's just a matter of, you know, within their moves, making sure that one move isn't so strong that there's no point to use the other moves. So if that's the case, like with Fanta Poncho, nobody uses his whip choke move, right? So we're like, okay, there's something wrong with that move. We need to, you know, give it some value, or maybe another move that just has too much value. So we're. we're you know, that's the, that's the kind of way we look at the balancing. Someone's asking to do a round of Wolf Girl as a tease, but before someone was asking to do a flash of Wolf Girl as a tease, so like the teases get heavier and yeah. heavier. Yeah. No Wolf Girl. Have you shown her in the uh, off screen? Yeah, yeah. Kaylee yeah. yells No Wolf Girl. Okay. Yeah. If you guys want to get mad, get mad. Yeah. yeah just come on the stream next week and subscribe if you subscribe because we're gonna 
you know, we've been doing a lot of dev versus challenges, but we actually really like the discussion about, we, you know, we like this as a place to just discuss mechanics and stuff too. And I think you guys notice from the forum too, we're, we're, we, we really listen to our fans and we like take feedback and you guys help us a lot with, um, with um, balancing and, you know, telling us where the bug is and this patch wouldn't be the same if we didn't get the help from you guys. Especially those videos you guys put up when you guys are logging those bugs, it helps so much. Oh. I'm not gonna try to impale you guys no more. <laughs> I'm trying too hard to do it. We hold the fort? Yeah, let's oh, hold the fort. Sorry. Our fort. My ah, house! Oh, right. oh, oh, that was the worst bot up forever. Yeah. Don't burn oh. my health down. Burn your teammate. That's nah, okay, you can heal. I'm um, on the cooldown. Oh. Kill me. Help. Boom! <laughs> Kill you both! <laughs> I'm in your house now. It's a sacrifice. Burn it down. Okay, he like. Oh, nice! Actually, uh, holding the house with two characters have projectile. Yeah, with attacks. Probably not a good idea. The thing I like with the Molotov is you can see it coming, it's got a slow throw time. So you just have enough time to just dive a lot of the way. Oh, the long reload. Yeah, oh, this, uh, the right secondary right. weapon thing is on purpose. Um, and we just want it. So, you know, a good technique is when we used to play, we used to do rip choke a lot to disarm, and it really sucks when you get disarmed. So I would always switch. When I'm killer, I would switch. If I saw Phantom Punch try to do that, it switch to my knife, and it's kind of like a way of kind of countering him. Ah! Oh. Oh, I thought you were dead. Am I talking at the same time as Blue? Sometimes. Oh, sorry, guys. Kaylee! Oh no. Oh, okay, so how come some of the characters have names and some have titles? The way we name our characters actually is um, is what 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 you would see on a wanted poster. You know, it's like what the town would name them. They don't really know. Sometimes they know they don't know who these guys are, they don't you know, they just and sometimes they do know, you know, so that that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's the evilest laugh ever, Kaylee. I love uh, I love leaving the dialogue so, like, trap. Killer? That's not his mom did a name of Killer. That's, <laughs> but you know, he just kinda got that name from his dad did. His dad. This is no name. Oh man. And Gordo actually means fat in Spanish, so it's uh not really a name. Yeah, it's not really a name, it's, it's, it's the name that nickname. it's the name that showed up on the wanted posters for him. Fat. Which fat? P H A T or F A T? Hmm. Yeah, it's really, really hard to right now plan the uh, sort of plan the release of characters. They take a long time to make too because we, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like in like a MOBA game, your characters might have like ten or fifteen animations where you have a death and a casting animation and a run and stuff like that. Our guys have like over a hundred animations each like they're and it really makes you feel like you're in control of their body the way you can like dive roll and take cover and reload while in cover and that kind of stuff but there's um it, it's uh there's a lot of depth to a character how they're made so um we can't go as fast as you know um like but i mean we like that depth too so i think that we yeah, we would hope that every few months we can release a character. You're totally sandwiched there. I can't help you. There. I well, like those. We have, we have big milestones right now too, where we, we have to get like PC done and everything. But once we get everything kind of going, then we can focus on 
just care. Yeah, like, that, that, that it. And modes and stuff like that. Yeah, 